Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna show you how to make this tropical pop song or tropical house. Basically, we are going to create a summer pop song. Anyways, so let's jump right to it. This is gonna be a little bit similar like Kaigo, but also it's gonna have some elements of pop music, not just tropical house. So I set the BPM to 105, which is a pretty good BPM for this type of thing. And let's get started. So I recommend starting with the composition. So let's take a piano sound, any piano sound will do. And let's create a composition. So yeah, let's start with the bass notes. And we can go with something really simple. So this is what we created. And now let's create the chords. So it's really simple to create the chords. Just put the same note as the bass note on top of it. You know, this is a D and this is a D as well. One octave higher. And this is a chord. The way I create it, I skip three lines here and put a note on the fourth one. And then skip two and put a note on the third one. And that's a basic major chord. If you want to make this chord a minor chord, just uh, move the middle note one down. This would be a minor chord. So yeah, that's how I create the chords. It's really easy. So let's do the same for the rest of it. And as you can see, this one is a minor chord. I'm not sure about the exact music theory explanation, but sometimes you want to switch between minor and major chords. So if something sounds off with your chord progression, just try changing some of them to minor or major. So those are our chords. And if you feel like some of them are too low, like this one, you can select the lower note of the chord and put it octave higher by clicking control and arrow up. I think this is pretty good. And now let's also make a certain rhythm. So it's not just the uh, plain chords. So here's a rhythm we can create. Basically, I'm holding control and dragging the mouse around, selecting the chords, then making them smaller and then holding shift to duplicate them. Okay, so that is our chord progression right there. It's a really simple one and it's a nice rhythm. It works pretty well. Now we can also create a melody in the same piano roll and then we're basically gonna put the lower notes in the bass, keep the chords in a piano, put the melody notes in a certain different sound. So that's a really easy way to start a song, create a composition with the bass notes, the chords and the melody and then change the sounds as you go. So yeah, that's our melody right there. It sounds pretty simple, but I have certain ideas. When creating a melody, usually what I do is I just play the chords and start imagining the melody in my head and then I transfer what I have in my head into the piano roll. And maybe you need some experience with that first, so it might not be as easy in the beginning. Make sure if you have a melody in your head, it matches with what you created in piano roll. If it doesn't, try adjusting the notes more. Anyway, so this is our little composition and now let's transform this piano composition into a tropical pop song by putting all these notes and assigning them to certain sounds. So before we continue with the rest of the song, let's focus on the drums. So we got a simple kick on every fourth beat. The samples I'm using are from my Pina Colada sample pack, which is a sample pack for tropical house or tropical pop, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to get that sample pack, link will be below in the description and use the code ARCADE to get $5 off. In this sample pack, you will find some construction kits, which are pretty much full songs and you get all the loops and sounds that I used in the song. 
like for example this guitar and then maybe the drums So yeah, these are all construction kits, so the melodies and everything is arranged as it was in the song. You'll also get all the MIDI files in each construction kit, and there is a bunch of one-shots. Everything here is really designed for tropical house in mind, or tropical pop, so none of the sounds will be useless. There is also a bunch of presets for C-Room, and we will get more to that in the rest of the video where I'm gonna show you some of these and how I use them in my song. And also, with the sample pack, you can get the FLP file of this project as well. So yeah, check it out, link will be below in the description. Anyways, now let's get back to the video. So all the drum samples I'm using here are from the Pina Colada sample pack, and here's the simple beat I created. We have the kick, we have a percussion, actually two of them, and it's just a little filler, Then we have this awesome snare and then a snare clap which has a little bit of pre-shifted clap in it. So this one kind of has a snap to it as well. And last but not least we have a tambourine to give the second snare a bit more power. And together the drums sound like this. And in the second repetition I just put the tambourine on each offbeat like this. So yeah, these are great summer pop drums. Now let's move on to the piano. So for the piano, I'm using basically the piano we created at the beginning. And I'm also using these chords from Serum, which you also can get in the sample pack. And they just add a little bit more color to the whole piano and chord thing in the song. Same chords, just a different sound. Really nice, clean chords. So then we have a bass and of course, of course I kept the root notes of the bass the same as we did in the composition at the beginning, but I also tried to make this bass a bit more interesting. So we have some octave higher notes here and there, and we also have these transition notes. So let's play the bass. So as you can see, we have the root notes, but sometimes I decide to put one note octave higher. That makes a really nice effect. And then we have these transition notes that just make the whole bass a bit more groovy and not just the plain notes playing over and over. So it's nice to shake it up a little bit, especially with these filler notes. So that's our bass. For the sound, I'm using Nexus Tropical House preset called Revenge. As far as the effects go, I have LFO tool on the bass, so every time the kick hits, the volume of the bass gets lowered, so that's basically sign chaining. I also have the same on the piano, sign chaining as well, but I also deleted the low frequencies and boosted the high frequencies of the piano, so it doesn't collide with the bass at all. Same goes for the plucky chords. I deleted all the low frequencies from that sound as well. And to make this bass even more interesting, we have this bass layer added to it. Same melody as the original bass, but the sound is different. Is this one called Bass Play Me, and together they sound like this. I actually did not sidechain this bass to make it more obvious in the mix and to to have the notes a bit more pronounced. So yeah, the bass alone doesn't sound as good, but when you combine it with all the other sounds, it will kind of get lost in there, but you can still hear, well, the sub bass, but you can also hear the filler notes a little bit, and it makes the whole song a bit more groovy. Last but not least, we have the melody that we created at the beginning as well. And for the sound, I use this uh, brass sound from Nexus, this saxophone, 
and then this little tropical house plug. So it's this one called Kaigo, which you can also get in the Pina Colada sample pack. So make sure to check it out, link below. So together they sound like this. Pretty basic melody, and as you can see, it gradually gets a bit different. So these are really basic, just three notes down, three notes up, three notes down, and then at the last repetition, you have to have some sort of a end to the melody that just makes it a little bit more intense. So we gradually get higher in the melody and have this ending here. So yeah, keep that in mind when creating melody. I have a bunch of effects on this sound. We have sound goodizer to give it more power and compress the high end of the sound. We have EQ and I deleted all the low frequencies from the sound. Then stereo shaper with the stereo IS2 preset, which makes the melody wider in the mix. And then also LFO tool to sidechain the sound. You can use gross beat as well, or you can just do sidechaining manually with the kick. It doesn't really matter. I also boosted the high frequencies a little bit right here for some reason and not in the EQ. For the serum presets, I just boosted the high frequencies a bit and also deleted the, the low frequencies. And also the sound is sign chained. Then at last we have some effects. Just basic crash and white noise. And in the second repetition, I decided to create a second melody, which sounds like this. So the sounds I'm using is Kygo 2 and this plug, really basic plug. And for the effects on those, we also just boosted the high frequencies a little bit and deleted the low frequencies because usually for the melodies, you don't need the low frequencies at all. So just delete them and then you have more space for the bass and the kick. In the second repetition, I also added a second pad sound, which is this one. So it's the same chords as the original, but the sound is a bit different. It's the sound plucky chords, and I just tried to make it more subtle. So we have really low cutoff, and it's just kind of in the background. That is pretty much it. We have some more sweeps here and there. And some white noise as well. Then I just put it all together in a simple arrangement and here is the finished result. Enjoy!
And so yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you wanna check out this project file, you can get it along with the sample pack. Link will be below in the description. And make sure to use the code ARCADE to get $5 off. And yeah, check out the project file yourself, analyze it, and hopefully you can learn even more from it. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.